Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm your host, Captain Rye, and yes, I know it's been a while. It's been two weeks. Um, yeah, there are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, reason number one, I tried to do a The Division Let's Play, which didn't really work out for the channel very well, but I was still completely just that... I was totally addicted to that game, and that's all I was playing for the last two weeks. And that's number one. Number two, last weekend, Easter weekend, I should say, because, I mean, it's still my weekend. So, Easter weekend, there was an anime convention in my city, which this will be my fifth year working at. So, I was busy with convention stuff. Um... And I just didn't have the time to go and put something together for last week. Additionally, after thinking about it, due to certain certain recent circumstances in my current life, I have decided I'm going to drop back my video release on this channel to just one video a week. And that video could show up either Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday It'll just depend on when I actually get it done and recorded, and what interesting things have happened. Speaking of interesting things, this video is World of Warships. Um, I haven't played World of Warships in probably 60 days. Mostly because there was Armored Warfare at the beginning of February for at least a month and a half, and then there was The Division for the last two weeks. So I'm finally getting back into World of Warships, a game that I really do love. Just, uh, yeah, I, there's so much to think about in the game, and of course, anybody who's played multiple types of these games, especially with the different control setups, play styles, and mechanics, will know that if you don't play it regularly, you tend to forget how to play it, and World of Warships is no exception. But, after playing it for about half a day, I very quickly figured out exactly what it is that I was doing. So, let's take a look at some of these replays. The first replay is going to be me in my Fabuki, my favorite destroyer of the game. I've already got a video up with a whole battle of my analytics of the Fabuki. So, here I am in the Fabuki, and basically what this is, is straight up, it's a Fabuki versus Fabuki knife fight. And prior to this point, just to fill you in, um, things went very horribly pear-shaped right at the beginning of the battle when the enemy CV spotted all four of us in destroyers closing on the B cap point through narrow channels, but for whatever reason decided that he wasn't going to stick his fighters over us and spot us. Instead... He was going to move on, so we actually got away from that. I put a couple of torpedoes into a nice big dumb battleship that was sailing in straight lines. Got spotted by one of the enemy's three Fabukis. And between myself and a f stock Fletcher, we managed to burn him down into nothing, and I got the kill for it. So that was actually my first kill, was a Fabuki. <laughs> but now... Let's take a look at this ridiculous knife fight situation in with the second Fabuki. <laughs> so here I am towards the end of the battle. I mean, my team's doing pretty well. We've had uh, at 1.2 of the cap points. And so, well, we're fairly equal as far as ship versus ship action, we actually have more points by a long shot because we held on to two of the cat points for as long as we did. Now, that second Fubuki I was talking about, there he is, he's hiding behind the island, and I've just managed to dodge his spread of torpedoes. This is actually the first damage I've taken all match, and I just dodged his uh, salvo from over the island. Now, I'm not spotted by him, 
I'd like not to be spotted by him because there is a very nasty, very large Nagato closing in on this cap. So I'm going to hide behind this island and try and get up close and, you know, give him a little dose of surprise butt sex from all of my freshly loaded torpedoes. But to my surprise, he's not here. Uh, well, that's, that's probably not good, but it probably just means he's hiding behind the island, and I just don't want to chase him. I don't want to deal with that situation. So, nice big dumb battleship. This is the battleship I hit before. <laughs> he's come back for more punishment from me. I'm going to fire off my rounds, my torpedoes, at him, and fire and forget him. If I hit him, well, hey, that's a good thing. If I don't, whatever. But here's that other Fubuki. Now, I've got more guns than him. And the Kirigo, who's firing at him right now, only has one functioning turret. So I'm in a far better position to deal with this guy anyway. Oh, and by the way, yeah, big dumb battleship sailed right into one of my torpedoes. <laughs> oh, battleship drivers. Don't ever change as long as you're on the enemy team. But if you're on my team, you better freaking learn how to steer. So I'm shooting down this Fubuki. He is just not having it. He's pop smoke. He's in and out of his smoke screen. But I'm hitting him. I'm still at full health. The Kirigo was hitting him. Between us, we've managed to knock out his engine. We've lit him on fire, so he's got no engine. He's put out his fire. Um, I don't know how many torpedo tubes he has left. How many guns he's got left. I, I just don't know at this point. And he's hidden behind the smoke screen. But I'm figuring, well, I'm not detected, so he can't see me. So he's not already pre-planning my demise through torpedoes. But at the same time, I don't want to just fire blindly all of my torpedoes into this smoke screen. Because, you know, he might just pop up point blank range and I'm going to want all those torpedoes. But where is he? He popped up for a second. Where is he? I know he's here. I've got all my guns pointed in one direction because I think that's the direction he was going. And I'm detected. Oh, and oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Point blank range, point blank range. Okay, uh, torpedo one, torpedo two, short it, long it. Figure it out. Oh god, torpedoes in the water. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I killed him. Oh, oh. <laughs> I missed all of his torpedoes. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, that was uh, some butt-clinching knife-fighting action between two Fubukis and the better Fubuki Captain One. <laughs> oh, God. I probably would not have survived that if I hadn't kept my torpedoes, though. Honestly. So for the second video replay I've got here, I'm in my Sims. Yes, the Sims, that beta, closed beta pre-order ship. I was lucky enough to actually win mine right after I purchased it, so I actually ended up with a boatload more gold than I had intended because they just compensated me for it. Um... But the Sims, it's the Sims. It's got shit long-range torpedoes or shit short-range torpedoes. It's got good guns, but they're made of glass. And you can be seen outside of your short-range torpedo, so... Ugh. And, of course, this is the Two Brothers map that has the channel dead center. And I decided right at the beginning of this match that, uh, screw it, I'm in the Sims... You only live once. And I actually typed that into the chat. I said, uh, YOLO going channel. <laughs> and apparently it was convincing enough <laughs> to bring two other destroyers with me. 
If you've ever played Two Brothers Map, you know that the channel is absolute death. Nobody goes channel because you just die. There's always a destroyer at the other end of the channel just waiting to torpedo you. But not this time, apparently. <laughs> we, we've made it through the tunnel. We've made it through this channel. We're in their cap. So right away, huge advantage to us. There's a nearly dead cruiser coming around the corner. There's an AFK destroyer just sitting there. I can't fire my torpedoes because I've got a friendly destroyer in front of me. And another destroyer has popped up. And this was my almost like, ooh, shit, what did I just do moment. Oh, God, yeah, okay. He dodged it. He was paying attention. <laughs> I'm glad somebody was. But, you know... YOLO. So I've got torpedoes off. They're not going to hit anything. I'm spotted. He's spotted. Three destroyers are sitting in the cap circle. It pretty much means torpedo spam everywhere. <laughs> the AFK destroyer has decided that he's going to join the battle now, which is unfortunate because I wanted a nice easy torpedo kill. But he's going to try his damnedest to uh, fight us off with guns and torpedoes and all that jazz. The one thing I will say about the Sims is if you do manage to get into close range combat with another destroyer of equal tier, the Sims is going to wreck them. It's basically got Benson guns at tier 7. Not only does it have Benson guns and torpedoes at tier 7, I mean minus the range, but... They turn so fast. It's unbelievable. So I'm shooting this enemy destroyer. He's popping up. His engine's dead. He's about to be on fire again. We've tried torping him. He's tried torping us. I managed to get the kill. And, of course, I'm spotted. So, I've got battleships and cruisers and destroyers, oh my, <laughs> all up and behind me. I'm on fire, my engine's dead, I have no steering. Pretty much, you know, now I'm up a shit creek without a paddle. I've got nothing. But surprisingly enough... Between my previous smoke screen, the enemy destroyer's smoke screen, I'm now behind cover, so I repair it, sail away, and be left alone. Or so I think. Yeah, there was another enemy destroyer here. Who's closing the distance? I've had one of my gun turrets knocked out. I'm not happy about that. But these things, they rotate and fire so fast. One is hardly of consequence. I knock out the guy's engine. He returns the favor by knocking out my steering. But still, I mean, the gun rotation is so fast, it doesn't matter at all. My torpedoes have reloaded. He has no engine and apparently no repair consumable. So, I'm going to try and hit him with torpedoes. And, yeah, he's going to get the kill on me. Friendly ship's going to get the kill on him, so no tis but a flesh wound badge for me. Still, though, look at the scores that we're in. My team is up in a huge points advantage and in a ship advantage, and we're still sitting on their cap. As I said in chat... Not bad for a YOLO run. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked the material, hit that like button and subscribe. I will definitely try to put up more videos uh, at least once per week. And as always, you know, have a great day. Try some of these games. This is Captain Rye, signing off.